I bid you welcome. Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. Paranormal experiences and scares come in all shapes and sizes. From shadowy nighttime figures out of the corners of our eyes, to strange lights in the sky, to the smell of demons in the dark. Here are a few short scares from regular people just like you and I. One of them was lucky enough to capture their ghostly entity on film. But you have to ask yourself, do you want to keep the recording going and find out more? Another friend had a demonic essence on his trail. And the last short story will be one of my own and my mistake for thinking my roommates were home. Here is a small clip of my friend Ruben's paranormal tenant who likes to switch on the lights and give a knock when no one is home. A small backstory to this as to why he thinks it to be paranormal and possibly more. He made a gift for a friend, placed a gift on his bed, so when he got home from work, it would be a reminder to take it to his friend. After arriving home from work from a long day, the gift bag was ripped up to shreds, and the tissue paper was scattered throughout the room. This entity seems like it might have some anger issues. Here's the video. After walking home late one night, Mike noticed he was the only one on the dark street in the late hours. An odor of legend came in the air. It was the smell of sulfur. In lore and myths alike, the smell of sulfur is a sign of something malevolent and demonic approaching. He noticed footsteps behind him and started picking up his pace to hurry home. The smell followed him and the steps got more intrusive as if right on his heels. Fearing to look back, he knows the stories that are all told to us. The smell of sulfur is the smell of a devil. It was like everything was quiet and all he heard were the noises of steps gaining on him. But just like that, once he arrived home, the noises were gone and the smell stopped like someone snapped their fingers. Was he about to become the victim of a demon or far worse, the Dark Lord himself? Who knows, but to this day, he has not forgot that night. While arriving late one night at home, I was living with two high school friends and we each had our own room. 
My room was the closest to the backyard. Both windows were facing it. We left the back door key hidden in the back so we could get it just in case one got home before the other. I didn't think nothing of it and just went straight to the back, not knocking on the front door to see if anyone was home, out of habit. When I got to the backyard, I noticed my room light on and thought I must have left it on. Then when getting to the back door, I heard footsteps walking away from the door and so I thought one of my friends were home. I went inside and put the keys on the table and yelled out to my buddy that I was home and brought some food, but had no one answer. The house was oddly quiet, scary quiet. I finally snapped that no one was home. I went to my room and the light was off. But when I looked at the ceiling fan, it was coming to a slowdown, like the light had just been turned off. I went to search other rooms, but nobody else was home.